Um, so we've got a question from Benny over on YouTube. Uh, is there any way that Intune can do a compliance setting against the latest Patch Tuesday updates? I've seen third-party scripts, but can Intune do it natively, looking to block access um, unless the machine is compliant with the latest Patch Tuesday updates? And he did have a follow-up comment here that he meant to say conditional access. But I think there's an answer in both um, uh, in, in both systems. So Intune, actually, Johan, if you wouldn't mind sharing my screen, I can pull up the compliance policy that could be used. Uh, yes. It's funny because we had a, a quite similar question in, in our community also. We can come back to that one later. but Sounds good. So for compliance, we can pretty easily uh, create a policy here. We'll create a Windows 10 and later policy. And we'll call this Windows version compliance or Patch Tuesday compliance or whatever makes sense to you and your organization. And then from here, we can go to the next page is compliance settings and we can select device properties. And here we can set a minimum OS version. So if we had, um, let's see here, if we go to Oh, this is Windows 11. Here's what I want. If we go to the Windows 11 release information page, we can see that the latest uh, version is 22.631.4112. Um, so we can go in and put that full build version in there. And if a device doesn't meet that full build version, then it will be marked as not compliant. Um, may want to set that, uh, you know, depending on the environment, may want to set that back a month or so to give some time um, after Patch Tuesday uh, releases or update your compliance policy after you would have expected your devices to be updated. Um, so that's how we can set the compliance policy. Um, we can also use that in conjunction with conditional access policies to say, if a device is not compliant, then we don't want them to access these resources. And that's how we can integrate the two things. Now, if we go over to our conditional access policies here and go to our policies, let's go to new policy and we'll call this, uh, we can call it Windows version compliance again. Here's where we set our conditions. And another way that we can do this with just conditional access is filter on device properties. So we can configure this and we can say if uh, operating system version um, doesn't equal the latest build number, then block the device from accessing whatever resources you're trying to block them from. Maybe that's all resources, maybe that's specific ones, you don't want to block them from email, or however you want to write the rules for your organization. Those are the two ways that I would approach this. Anything you'd like to add there, Johan? Uh, only the, the, the script that we got in, in, in our uh, community question there. So I can, if you're done, I can steal the screen. Yes, of course. All right. So uh, it was a very similar uh, question coming in. All right. I have a few services that I want to make sure are running on the system. And if they're not, I want to flag the machine as not compliant. So after a little bit of testing, it turned out it wasn't too hard to write a compliance script that did that. Uh, basically, this little example here is just looking for two services that I happen to have running on my device, TeamViewer and Adobe Update Service. And I'm simply checking for them and spitting back a, a JSON file with that information. And then that JSON file or, or the result of that JSON file, that's how I build up my conditions in the script itself uh, that I'm adding into uh, to Intune. And Peter has a pretty good blog post on, on how to get this going. A slightly different example, he checks for a version. Um, 
of a BIOS, but it's the same concept. He has a PowerShell script that returns a JSON object, and then he creates uh, the JSON for the setting. And in this case, he's looking for a string that has to match uh, whatever BIOS version it was, in this case, a Hyper-V BIOS version. So it is not too complicated to, to set up. Um, uh, those are over in... Um, Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit upset because one of my DNS service is not running at the moment, so it's a bit of a name resolution uh, thing. But you can add your own scripts here uh, to check for specific properties and services. So now you can create a policy to check against that result. So that there are plenty of options available to, to check compliance and, of course, um, I like that I added in the, the ability to have custom scripts. Yeah, I mean, I love that that script that you put together. I mean, it's very, um, it's one of those good examples of you can do whatever you want in the script. You have those couple of things that you're checking for, but you can check for anything or a whole set of things. Um, it's fantastic. Yeah. 